Some years ago I was composer in residence to the Bruno Philharmonic and had some really good experiences with commissions and recordings. And then when the Czech Philharmonic also got to know of my work, I was asked to write a virtuoso violin obligato piece. Uh, not necessarily a concerto, although I could have gone in that direction. And I chose the subject of Niobe, the myth about a beautiful, feisty woman who is punished terribly for blasphemy. And I thought of the violinist Tamsin Whaley Cohen, who I've known for a long, long time, and how interesting it would be to literally pit a female violinist against an entire orchestra. <laughs> Um, for her, her boastfulness about her children. Um, it's incredibly dramatic and um, very, very powerful. There's moments when the orchestra is completely overwhelming, chasing the soloists. Um, Rich, when Richard was writing it, it was so explored you know, things that would be very desperate on the violin, sort of have this real sense of struggle and being trapped. Um, Earlier on, it shows Niobe as, as the lover or as, as sort of showing off flirtatious. Um, and then it ends with her being unable to escape from the orchestra and the idea of the tears running down the rock that she's uh, trapped in for eternity. Richard's writing is very direct, it's very emotional, it's also very sensuous, um, and it also inhabits many different sound worlds. So I was slightly nervous to see how A, the orchestra would respond, and also how the audience would, would respond too, but I found everyone to be extremely open, the orchestra had been completely committed, and they've brought their own unique way of playing and their sound to the table, and today we've had a wonderful opportunity to record the piece um, in a very intense uh, way, but I think what we've managed to achieve um, is a wonderful sense of line and structure and I hope a wonderful sense of imagination as well.